Hello to everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new point of view. So today, Wednesday, 29 July, I'm very pleased to introduce our brand spotlight, Omnipel. So welcome to Elena. So Elena Maradi will be here today. Hi, Elena. Hi, hi everyone. So nice to be with all of you. Thank you, Aretha. Thank you so much to be here because today we are talking about navigating into fashion tech. So discover new functionality, isn't it? So let's let, let just anticipate a little bit what, what you are talking about today. So today we're talking about uh, the connection between functionality and fashion on materials and fabrics. So I will, I will start to share some picture because we want to go a little bit through this uh, tech and fashion. Yes, so I do introduce our company. Uh, we are Omnipel Technologies. We are Italian based, not, not only. And also we are China based. We have two branches and we are a fabric uh, producer mainly fabric and materials producer. We work mainly for shoes, so footwear and uh, leather goods. Our speciality is to make work together tech, high tech material and fashion. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about a little bit what's functionality in, especially in the footwear department, because one of our best clients, they work in specific uh, areas uh, of footwear, such as outdoor, performance sport brands, and of course, safety. So if we can go to the next slide, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce a little bit uh, what is functionality in these three areas. So let's start with outdoor. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we can go to the next slide, we can see that here we have listed the main focus uh, for outdoor shoes in terms of functionality. So breathability, water resistant, anti-abrasion materials, lightweight, comfort, and generally resistant to weather. This is very <laughs> This is very important to us. Please, we can go to the next slide. And here we have uh, um, some functionality. Of course, they overlap for the three areas we are exploring because all these areas, they require very high tech functions uh, to make people to do outdoor activities, sports performance, or to be in the safety area. So for sports, of course, uh, also in this case, breathability and anti-abrasion are very important. Also comfort and lightness. But here we do introduce the antimicrobic, which is very important and it's a highly, very sensible and sensitive topic today. And of course, flexibility. We can go next with safety, mm -hmm. where we have uh, a new addictions to uh, functionalities, which are shockproof, of course, and impact resistant. And of course, uh, also in some cases, fire resistant. So anti abrasion breathability, and antimicrobial and comfort remains as for the other strands. So how we at Omnipel Technologies, we do interpret uh, the functionality how we can create materials with the functionality. So let's find out together. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, uh, we have here all the main uh, uh, categories uh, that we have uh, in our collection, in a part of our collection, because as our name suggests, which is high tech and high fashion, 
our collection is uh, sort of divided into two main branches, which is high tech and functional materials and fashion materials. Today, we're going to see our, one of our new branches, which is mixing these two aspects together. So we have linings, we have reflective materials, we have the nylon, anti-abrasion nylon and high resistance nylons that we call NITEC. We have a 3D spacers meshes. We have our main style, which is the poron foam, microfibers and our Iron Man, which are our anti-slippers and uh, anti-impact um, uh, uh, collection. Okay, so we can go and go one by one to the different categories. First, we have linings. Linings are very important, especially today, because for example, after the COVID, they have been required to us also to do masks, of course, because the first uh, functions that a lining inside the shoe has to do is to create a, a breathable environment, an odor absorber, and of course, an antimicrobic. And this is true for the whole collection on our linings. So can I, can I just jump yeah. in? So this means that these functionalities that were already important before for safety, sports, and now they are becoming more important starting from the lining. You mean something like this? Yeah, exactly. I mean that uh, uh, something that in the past uh, was considered a sort of obvious uh, for materials, for linings, uh, for shoes, uh, has become uh, features that are more and more important, uh, not only for performance, outdoor and safety, which are more technical side of shoe, but of course also for fashion and fashionable and trendy uh, shoes, especially sneakers. And nowadays, these kind of features are also widely requ requested after the COVID spread, also for other typologies of applications. Okay, I understand. Okay. So we can go to the next category, which is our NITEC. Uh, NITEC, uh, it's a, a category that we have created and which incarnate for us, uh, the let's say the 30% of the collection by itself. And it's very important. And it's, I think, one of the reason Omnipel technology is well known on the fashion uh, field, especially in the footwear department. Our NITEC are mainly nylons with uh, anti-abrasion and uh, tensile resistance and uh, high tenacity and durability, of course. We have a wide range of products and it's very important for us uh, to have them because they are becoming more and more important in the upper making. Okay, so from uh, classic uh, canvas oxfords a uh, nylon to the ripstop uh, arriving to the original cordura fabrics so are you do you have anything to show us also in a real time um yes for the night tech uh, i would like to introduce to you one of our uh, gems of the latest uh, collections which is our tyvek so Tyvek is a, a DuPont material. And as you can see, it's very important because it's highly resistant. In this case, we have interpreted with the shiny metallic surface and create a sort of paper effect, which is highly interesting. Tyvek, to be mentioned, it's been used for years uh, in house makings, uh, so in construction. So his highly tenacity, high tenacity and high strength, it's very important. So maybe I can give a suggestion to the participant to click on the video that you have some sometimes yeah. opening so you can see the real time. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, so we can go to the next category, which is the reflective side. So reflective materials have become more and more important and they have started in a more uh, safety work environment, uh, such as, for example, for police uh, and uh, or, um, military. But now they have also become a more fashionable side. It's, for me, they are a new glitter interpretation in a very functional way. So in this case, uh, the features uh, are, of course, uh, resistant to um, region again water resistant and of course uh, reflective so you mean that this was a kind of trend in the latest season and yeah. now it's improving in yeah. a fashion in a more technical aspect and also in the next trends yeah exactly and it's very important and for me it's becoming more and more important in the area and we uh, we do have a very big uh, collection of materials uh, in this uh, interpretation, so with the reflective surface. Okay, so we can go to the spacers. So mm -hmm. 3D spacers are uh, always been the crown jewel for sneakers. They've been used for their softness, they've been used for their breathability, they've been used because they are double layering, like the image that I'm showing where you can see we have a, a double structure. So, and of course they have a very important uh, role in odor control. Now, I would like to show you one of them that has a little bit of twist that we have created. So this is something, one of your latest creations. So is that, is that yeah. quite new now? Yeah, it's quite new. And in this case, it's very important because it's a spacer with uh, an alumination metallic uh, backing. Okay. This lets the material to be not only fashionable because it has this metallic side, but technical because it's anti-wind and water resistant as well. So we have created something that from a 3D spacer, which usually, of course, a mesh cannot be water resistant completely. We have created something that is completely water resistant. Correct. Okay. And I have a question. Yeah. May we, may we have some antibacteric uh, treatments uh, in, this, yeah. in this product? Yes, of course, because uh, um, our latest uh, news is that we have been able to use the Silvadur technology developing from uh, DuPont that can be used on all our materials that have a polyester base. And since the spacer, 3D spacer meshes are 99% made by polyester, of course, we can create uh, a total anti-odor, antimicrobic, and antibacterial material at the end with the special treatment. Interesting. Now we have Poron. Yes, uh, Poron, as I said, it's one of our crown jewel. Why? Because it's been recognized on the market for many, many years, especially in the insole makings in shoes for its properties as a shock proof, shock absorber, impact protection, and of course, contouring. Contouring means that poron creates a, a sensation of comfort around your foot when you, you instep in your shoe. And it's a foam, it's a high density foam, and it's been very popular in the latest year. And today I would like to show you a small demonstration for our next Poron article, which is our Poron XRD, which is very important. Let me prepare my show, one second. Yeah, so I suggest to everyone to click on the picture 
where you can see the demonstration. So we can have an enlarged screen. Yeah. So, as you can see here, mm -hmm. I have different types of foams. I have the EVA, classic basic. I have our common poron, which is the poron plus. And then I have our poron XRD. So I have my small ball that it's made in iron. So it's quite heavy. If I do this on the EVA, as you can see, the ball will bounce back. If I can do on our poron, basic poron, it will start to be more shock absorbed. But if I do this on our XRD, the ball will not bounce back. More the density of our XRD, more will not bounce back. Okay, correct. So this is a feature that it's very important because when you have especially performance shoes, but also every day in our day, if we have to run, to walk, or we have to go somewhere very quick, it's easy to do, uh, to do this with a shock absorber and a shock proof material in your insole. Okay, we can go to the next slide, which is of course the Power XRD, and we can jump to the next one. Okay, here we have the microfibers. Microfibers are very common materials. So why I'm talking about this? Because we have a line which is called microabsorb, which is dedicated in this case uh, to the antimicrobic, and it's been very successful for lining, such as our lining collection. And of course, this material is also waterproof, and most of all, it's anti-peeling. So it's very important, as you can see, for us to create a comfort outside and inside the shoes. Do you have something to show now? You want to see? Oh, we can go ahead. Perfect. Iron Man. Yes. This is our, let's say, uh, protection line. So it's a stain proof because, of course, uh, it's a PU coated material. So we have uh, several materials. It's anti-slippery, so we have our Xodus, which is recognized for anti-slippery, and it's been used in the past a lot for gloves, for safety gloves, mm -hmm. and they are waterproof. These materials are, are very common in the market, and they have been used a lot. So we are pr quite proud of them. We can go. Yes, here, as I said before, is our new Silvadur technology, which we can apply just here. I've put some examples. So from our Nitec to our Spacer to our linings, but not only this, I would like to add something more because Silvadur, it's also considered environment friendly because it has no use of heavy solvents or heavy chemicals. So we can apply this to also all our Ecoline products that we will see after. Okay. Okay, so now uh, I would now like- the tech, tech goes to fashion. Exactly. So what's the beauty of working in Omnitel technology is that we can really combine functionality with fashion. And I think that uh, this is the most important thing today because more and more fashion have been needy of more uh, technical aspects, uh, functions to show in their shoes. Not only in sneakers, but for example, also for elegant, trendy, edgy, high heels shoes. So in this case, uh, this slide, I would like just a little bit to highlight that from a tech material, we can create a, a fashion one. And I would like to show to you how. In this case, we have, as you can see, this base, it's our Nitec Galaxy 
which is one of our nylon um, eye tenacity. And we have created a coated uh, with glitter, but also with a waterproof. So you combine it, the, the exactly. functionality with the shiny glitter. Exactly. The texture, so, like the texture. Exactly. So we will like, to, if you can see, it's the texture. So we have a small texture and we can see the brilliance. Yes. Of the glitter. In this case, it, it's very important because the glitter will never come off because it's inside a special coating. It's so, stable and durable. Exactly. So that's why it's fashionable, it's durable, but at the same time, it's function. So this is very right. important to us. So now in these slides, I would like to highlight a little bit which are the areas in which we try to combine fashion with function. So tech with fashion. So for example, the first examples here are our Delave collection. So from uh, ripstop, we have created some bleaching ripstop uh, with a special coating again, and we have created a sort of Delave effects, which is usually more related to fashion fabrics. <laughs> Then we have, for example, the tie and dye. And in this case, we have interpreted the real tie and dye. So it's not a print. I would like to point it out because the effect is very craft on our Cordura material. So Cordura, it's considered very tech material. It's a material that is used by military. But we have decided to give it a twist with the tie and dye effect. So giving more, uh, let me say, uh, natural, organic, look, exactly. worn out look. So I guess that this is a part of collection, which is more like a country look or exactly. a natural row, rough, rough finishing. So even the touching is a little bit sand feeling. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And it's very important to us also to highlight the fact that all these uh, 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 finishing, these treatments, uh, they want to be to create a sort of a craftsman, yeah, artisanal effect, because uh, at the end, uh, all these techniques, uh, they take inspiration from traditional uh, dyeing processing. Okay. And the last one, for example, in, on our spacers, we have created a denim effect. So a double dyeing effect that it's very important because it's really resemblance to the classic denim technique. Okay. So jumping to the next slide, hmm. here we have another interpretation um very popular from us so of course the glitter that i already showed you the what i call the liquid metal so the idea to create a metallic surface uh, on uh, high resistant fabrics uh, such as the ripstop with the metallic uh, uh, u with the metallic shade and this is possible again through different finishing, which are not the classical lamination foil, but they are a little bit more materic, so you can feel and touch it. The last one, it's uh, another crown jewel of our collection, and I'm very proud of it, and it's our ruby. Mm -hmm. I would like to show it to you directly, just a second. Yeah. Let me share your screen so we have an all light. Okay, so as you can see, on a classic Nitec base, this is our uh, high tenacity Oxford, which is called Forza Sette. We create a 3D print effect with the PU. This is very important because it can be highly customizable by everyone. So we have different, you can work on all our bases. You can decide your pantone color and you can decide your design. And 
it's very interesting for the 3D effect that creates in its design. And I guess you can also choose your thickener. Yeah, yeah, you can choose the thickness, of course, and, uh, and you can choose all the designs that, that you want. There's a small mold to be created. And the beauty of it is the 3D and matric effect that the gummy part gives, which is very important. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the latest, uh, which again, I'm very proud of, uh, which are the finishing that I call hand painted. So we have decided to create a little bit of uh, con just a position between something that is craft by hand, because we work closely with the artisanal, they work by hand uh, like they were painters, uh, but applied uh, on our tech basics. Again here, what we would like to do is to give more a fashion function, so create a lot of a, a mix. Of course, in this case, uh, and that's maybe a question that you can ask, uh, it, we can lose a little bit the functionality because here mm -hmm. it's more predominant the fashion side. But also in this case, it's been quite popular, especially for, let's say, the performance fashion brands and the more contemporary brands. Yeah, but in, in my opinion is, I guess that functionality is incorporated, is embedded. Yeah, of course. So you don't see, but As here I see the highlight, this kind of uh, structure, uh, materiality, so this kind of uh, re relevant elements of a lot of colors and different type of texture. Yeah, and also I want to point it out, all these effects uh, are very uh, materic, again, very easy to touch and to feel. I'm so sorry we, we cannot make people feel them, but I will invite the people to ask to us for this kind of finishing because they are not simple prints, but they create a 3D materic unique a relief. effect. I and think the effect is unique. Are very good. Picture yeah. are really giving now this yeah. kind of effect of materiality and touching. Yeah. So I'm feeling of the different reliefs. Yeah, exactly. So that's also what we try to do with our new digital world. We have improved a lot in this way. Okay. So. so Let's talk a little bit, just a few seconds. Let me introduce our new collection. Of course, we are out now and we are going to present it uh, live uh, in the new point of view in Milan in September. But our sales department is already working with clients, uh, digital or in real person. And we have created, as usual, our new trend book. So I would like just, uh, if, you, if I may, I liked a couple of articles that have been, they are very successful at the moment from the first round with the clients. And also uh, they are quite, I think, uh, in line with the tech mix with fashion. So the first one, we are curious because we see a lot of colors. So a very positive yeah. message at this stage of the time when designers are looking to find something attractive? Yeah, I have to be honest, our team has worked very hard in this collection and we have been working also during the lockdown period. We never stopped. We are always try to work with our, uh, with our meals, uh, with our laboratories uh, in all the period. And that was our message. The concept it was, okay, let's go back to authenticity. Let's go back to where we belong. Okay, let's start with the first, which is very interesting because it's a thermal sensible material. So it's a special technique and you can see, wow, I okay. can leave my, 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 my fingers. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes. in the material. Wow. It, uh, you may ask me, it's something new in the fashion business. 
Of course okay. not, because in the garments it's been used for many years, but it's never been successful because this thermic uh, difference could influence, of course, on your body, on your body sweat. But for shoes, uh, uh, we were thinking about the, the beauty of the concept to put your hand on your shoes and then wear it on the upper material because there's no contact with the body temperature, which is what triggers. So I think it's quite charming. It's quite charming. And also I think I can imagine in leather goods, uh, yeah. leather goods means in a goods a backpack or nylon bags. Very interesting. And the other material that I would like to, to show to you, just mm -hmm. a few seconds. It's this one. Okay. Right. So yeah. you're taking now a couple of pictures directly from the trend book, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting. So this is our satin nylon, and we create a, a crackler effect. So we have created the same effect that you create on letters with the tumbler process. And wow, this is really new. Can you move it a little bit? Yeah. I'm curious to see this kind of French effect. Answer to open. I'm sorry, I have a very small sample at the moment because everything is very new. Okay, this is fine. Just slow. slow. As you can see, Perfect. I it's can. Kind of paper see. effect. Yeah, it's a, a crack, crack paper effect. That's why we call it crack. <laughs> it's the name of the article also. And we wanted to combine, in this case, uh, uh, for example, the article, it's water resistant also because the coating that we have created with our finishing allows the water resistant of the nylon. So we wanted to create both the paper effect and the cracking effect that also can be improved by the usage of the material. So Elena, I think now we have to go inside yeah, the latest course. topic. Yeah, which is very important for us. And uh, it's very, uh, it's something that we work hard on, which is the responsibility um, trend. So I don't want to spend too many words because uh, the concept of sustainability and responsibility, it's very big. It's huge, especially going down to the fashion system. So for us, for Omnipel Technologies, responsibility, it's being divided into three main areas. The first, it's the easiest one. It's ethical, mm -hmm. ethical in terms of working with people. So we try our best to be as ethical as possible, both with the, the partners that we have in productions and our clients. And we are always for our, for our clients. We are always there for our clients. The second one is process that I want to explain to you a little bit more further. And the last one, it's about products. Mm -hmm. So if we can jump to the next slide, because I already spoke about the ethical. Okay, so process. It's not possible to be responsible towards people and environment today without being responsible in our process. So we, as Omnipel, we have followed a path, which is a very hard path to follow, <laughs> but it's very rewarding, which is the path of certifications. So from one side, our recycle articles have received, and we as company, we have received the global recycle standard certificate, which is of course the main certificate at the moment for post-consumer recycled um, products uh, and processing. But we wanted to do a step forward. So what we are doing, and uh, that's why both me and one of the owner of the company have accomplished the chemical manager certificate from ZDHC, which is the main uh, speaker at the moment for eliminating chemicals uh, from all the fashion supply chain. This means that we 
try to control and we control closely to our partners all the upstream process of making the material. Great. And this is very important for us and it's been the core business for us for almost two years now. So, so you, you already started two years ago and now yeah. you arrive and you reach a yeah. very high good goal, but it's not finished yet. Not yet, especially for the ZDHC because we have not received yet a certification for sustainability, but we are working on that path. And that it's quite wonderful. long. Yeah. yeah, that it means a, a very a rigid control of our supply chain. And the last, uh, of course, uh, area of responsibility is on products. So where you can see our responsibility towards environment in our products, where again, we have combined functionality and sustainability. Why? Because we have created our Ecoline two years ago. Here are just a couple of examples. We have two main areas. The first one is the post-consumer recycle items, which are now under the GRS certification, which are different. We have a spacer, we have linings recycled from plastic PET bottles, and also we have uh, classic uh, uh, nylons and uh, high tenacity polyesters. The other area that I would like to, to talk just a few seconds more about is our alternative sustainable fibers uh, part of the collection. Here we have tried to reach uh, new functionality through new type of fibers. We have our lining bamboos, which is made with bamboo uh, fibers, which are by themselves in nature without usage of any additional chemicals or finishing. They are anti-odor and antimicrobic, so antibacterial as well in a natural way. And also they have a very good resistance to abrasion due to the fact that bamboo it's a, uh, it's a very hard plant. Hmm. Coming again from the bamboo, we have also developed fibers from the bamboo charcoal, which also have a perfect thermic insulation for your body and also for your feet. And the last, uh, but not the least, uh, it's the Sorona from DuPont. So we have developed the spacer 3D, 3D spacer from Sorona fiber. Sorona, it's a biodegradable fiber and it's made reducing the impact of uh, CO2 in the environment and it's made from corn. Hmm. Interesting, from corn. Yeah. And so it means, I guess that this push you more to find alternative yeah. yarns, make exactly. Together with something which is already recycled but also recyclable. So, in this case, I guess that you can give instruction to the designer how yeah. they can use it, how they can put maybe the tag on the finished product. Exactly, but not all it is, but also part of our job, a part of my job, is to talk to the clients and make them understand when they request the sustainable materials what we do intend because it's a huge, it's a huge market and it's a huge yes. world. And uh, for us, uh, we have decided to put ourselves in with a very clear mind and with a very clear idea of what we want to do. Great. Okay. So I think it was so interesting to, to listen to you. And I Thank you so much. for all further information, you can also contact yeah. yeah, you can contact Mr. Alan Schleffer, which is our US market sales manager. And he's also in charge for our Chinese branch. So for all clients uh, from the US market that produce in China, it's also uh, relevant. And I thank you, Orietta and Linia Pelle for having us. Thanks for the attention here at Omnipel. Please feel free to ask us all questions and to uh, 
seek us for any further information on our products. For sure, for sure, Elena. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the attendees. So I invite all of you to see the physical and new point of view next September 22-23. Of course, we'll be also online and streaming for those who cannot come to Italy. So thanks so much to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice day. Bye-bye.